I want to talk to you today about something kind of important, which is when people are living in situations with toxic people or things going on in their life where the toxic people are around them a lot and they cover it up and no one knows. When people are living in secret in situations where they are living with a narcissist or can't get away from people who are narcissistic in their life and nobody knows what they're going through none of their friends none of their family they keep it to themselves even the children in the household do not know because they are covering up the tracks for or are um, diminishing the things that are happening so that no one sees it what it does to your life though when you aren't able to express it when you aren't able to live in the truth of what's going on is it forces you to live in a sort of half truth inside yourself as well. It forces you to repress and to suppress and to con compartmentalize to such a degree in your life that you're not able to really fully have joy and freedoms and personal interest, get to know yourself, be a whole and healthy, happy human being, right? And there's nowhere to turn because no one knows. People who suffer with this are, are being forced to live a lie inside their own home and they're, they have no support. They are truly alone on this journey because they can't reach out or for whatever reason can't let other people know. And this is more common than you think. And it is so harmful to the person who's experiencing it and the person who is keeping the secret in their life. It is so important to reach out for help, you guys. It is so important to acknowledge what's going on, even if you can't get out of it, because there are ways to work on self and to work on bits of your healing if you can't get out so that you are not pulled under by the whole thing and lose yourself completely. People who have to cover up and don't let others know, when they finally do, it can be quite devastating and quite difficult for them to reconcile what's happened. They have had to live in such a state of cognitive dissonance and knowing what's going on and hiding what's going on, either to protect the toxic person or to protect the life they have, or because they're very private or because they're afraid of what people will think or all the different reasons. When they finally, when it finally comes out when they're finally able to speak about it, sometimes it's the floodgates, right? It can be really, really challenging. So. If you're living in a situation where you are not able to live your truth, right? You're not able to express or have support or have anyone to talk to about what's going on. Please find yourself someone to talk to. Find yourself a safe enough. I mean, I, I use the word safe, but when you're living in that situation, nothing feels safe, right? Um, and because you wouldn't be hiding it if you felt safe, you wouldn't be feeling so trapped and so um, alone with it if the world felt safe to talk about it or if there anyone felt safe but so many situations i have heard of where it comes out later oh my gosh that was a toxic relationship they were in no wonder blah blah blah, blah. whatever it was that that person however they behaved they were distant a distant friend or they they would turn away or they disappear for a while because they're dealing with a toxic household and they can't can make real friendships and connections because they have to hold this lie inside, right? It's really, really awful and really painful. And there are ways to help. Know that there's group coaching, that there's coaching or anyone, find someone else, if not that, right? To a therapist, anyone to help you see what's happening in your life, face what you need to face and make any any changes you can make that allow you to take care of yourself and have someone to talk to have someone to express it to so in one fraction of your life you're able to be honest and you're able to be real with yourself so many people stay for their own reasons that is not a judgment and none of this is a judgment really but but what happens is if we're not talking about it if you're not able to say to someone i think i'm living in a situation with a narcissist what do i do or or anything not even express it and you just say everything's fine i don't really like them but it's okay then 
it's beyond not having closure. It is not even living your own authentic life at all. You're just living to cover up the rest of your life. I have talked to people whose children didn't even know what was going on in the, their own house because the person who was the survivor hid it so well so that when they finally left, their children didn't understand, their now adult children didn't understand why they could possibly leave their partner, their husband or wife, couldn't comprehend it and really had a hard time with the parent who was the survivor. In fact, some pushed the parent to go back to this to the toxic person because they have no idea that what what what, what happened so then you're stuck in a situation where there is no support in your life not even your own children who were living in the same house and then what happens to the cognitive dissonance of course you're going to think it's you they were living there and they didn't see it even though you know you covered it up and you you know so it's very painful for people to be in this situation. It is super isolating. So if you're living a secret life, it will eat away at you. I've seen it a lot and it's, um, and it's interesting because by the time I hear about it, it's really, really, really far down the rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Like people don't just, obviously, or I wouldn't have heard about it <laughs> because what we're talking about is people not talking about it. So please, if you know anyone going through this and they do open up to you, just be open to them. Don't judge them, let them tell their story. Everyone stays for different reasons and everyone has a right to their own life, right? So don't judge them, get them the support, get them the videos, get them, you know, get them some help somewhere from someone that, that knows how to help. I will be back next time. You guys take care, hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe. Bye-bye.